So what it is, Ski Chef Yaski. All right, so look, now I'm down. Uh, for folk who like trying to get um, more consistent, more, more like have a more a better drive, have a better discipline, um, and things of that nature. Have a reason of why you want to do something. You feel me? So like for people who going to school, going to college to become a doctor, you feel me? You strive to go to work and go to school every day to because you know you want to be that. So if you is trying to become healthy or like don't just hop on that wave because you see other people doing it or whatever. Genuinely want that. Only thing I can respect about a person who don't, you feel me, hop on like a healthy journey and try to act like something they not is because because you got people who will be faking they'll they'll be y'all love me some fruit i uh bop 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 uh-huh i'm gonna you feel me and then don't ever be fully committed it be bullshitting and shit and just be like just be wanting to talk the talk but like have a reason of why you want to do something if you have a health issue let that be your reason let that be your motivation think about all the pain you went through think about the nights where you went to sleep with that feeling think about the mornings you woke up with that feeling think about that the afternoons you was at work with that feeling you ain't got no choice but to be hooked but you hurting like a motherfucker you feel me so like and then implement good things like this right here this is my breakfast um Alpha, alpha, alpha sprouts. I wanted broccoli sprouts, but I forgot to grab them yesterday. And this is gonna be my lunch. Y'all seen the video, but this is gonna be my lunch. Um, strawberries, loaf mango, kit mango, and pineapples and passion fruit. I wonder if there's different varieties of passion fruit. And I got brain coherence. It has lion's mane powder, ashwagandha root powder, chunga mushroom powder, ginkgo, billabo, billabo powder, go-to go to cola powder, ethero root powder, bakapa powder, bakapa, bakapa, anyway, uh, turkey tail powder. I did look up all these things. I just don't know how to pronounce them fluently. When I first bought it, I did look those up to see exactly what they do. And they actually do more than just help with your brain. They actually, like, help with your nerves and things like that. And I just made me some tea with, feel me? It's, um, I don't know if y'all got to see it, but it's golden. <laughs> it got turmeric powder. This right here, turmeric. It, it got black pepper in it, too, but turmeric powder. Cayenne pepper, bay leaves, cinnamon powder, cinnamon stick, and what else? What else? I'm hungry. Oh, yeah, that's it. Cinnamon powder and something. And honey, manuka honey, manuka honey. It's the only honey I like using. I usually prefer to do a couple of drops because usually I overdo it with my honey and my tea. But I gotta learn to stop. Filling it up so much with it, cause I just bought it not too long ago. Look at it, you feel me? And I don't like other brands of honey because they be pasteurized and stuff, and not the real deal. But this brand is very good to me, so I buy it. But it's so expensive. This bottle costs thirty two dollars, even though I ain't buying them. You feel me? Folks buying them for me, grandma. I love you, grandma. But uh, yeah, and I put lemon in too, lemon in the tea too. But back to the you feel me? I also have some beetroot juice today. Um, a shot of it. Because this is strong. I ain't going to lie. Last time I, first time I drunk, first time I was drunk a cup of this, man, I ain't even finished the cup and I got sick and like started throwing up. That's that. That was horrible because it got stuck right here and then my lid. I just lost feeling in them. I fell and then I threw up and I'm like, whoop. Beets ain't no joke, player. You got to mix them with something. You feel me? And don't mix too many of them. In there. But yeah. Um, have a reason why you want to do something. Wake up every morning and pursue that dream or that goal. Write it down. I've been writing down what I'm going to do in a day. Um, I've been writing down. And I was doing that 369 method, you know, that little Nikola Tesla thing. Uh, I wonder if he was the only one who realized that and before his time, like, was it somebody before Nikola Tesla doing the 369 method and then he picked that up from them? Because history is never, 
it's never nothing new. It's just like it's like it repeat itself and it evolve, kind of. But like, it's nothing new under the sun. You feel me? So I wanna, but yeah, you can write down, say, 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 say. Uh, just for example, just to say this. I am a millionaire. Don't say I'm going to become a millionaire. Say you are a millionaire because. If you say you're going to become something, you might become that two years from now, six months from now, uh, motherfucking three, three, 30 years from now. You feel me? If you keep saying I'm going to become, going to become can be any time and tomorrow's not promised. So say you it now. Say, say you're a millionaire now. Say, you feel me? You just ain't got all the money yet, but you, you a millionaire. You just ain't got all the money yet, fam. It was a whole millionaire walking, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, do things like that. Write down 8 in the morning when you wake up. And then in the afternoon, write it down six times. And then at night, before you go to sleep, you feel me? Write it. I mean, I, I prefer before, like, 9 o'clock, you feel me? Cause I, go to, I try to go to sleep at, like, 9 and wake up real early at 4. Today, I was supposed to wake up at 4, and I woke up at 5.32, 5.34, somewhere up in there. No, 5.22, 5.24, somewhere up in there. And working out actually does something to the mind, especially when you're feeling pain. When you when you're working on your abs and it's like it's burning and like you genuinely want to stop. But if you make yourself keep going to the point where like you're still doing the workout properly and your body not doing like any jerking or making you do the wrong posture while you're working out. Like when you start feeling yourself doing the wrong posture and it's like. You're not doing it the right way no more. Like, say you did did 50 push-ups, but you don't even got your back straight no more. Yours aren't, like, all the way curved in. Stop. Stop. Because you're not doing the workout right anymore. If you're still doing the workout right, continue to let it burn. Continue to let it burn. And eventually, you will be addicted to pain. It sounds weird, but you really can get addicted to pain when it comes to working out. It worked for me. That's what I'll be doing. And, um... If you is a person who do drugs or anything, try to clear up your mind. That could be another reason why you always doubting yourself and you never can stay consistent and you always get manipulated into other lower vibrational things such as indulging into food that's not filled with light and energy. Even if it's cooked vegetables, it still can be hard to digest. I promise you, for some reason, I don't know what it is with the digestive system, but even if you eat cooked food, you could feel uneasy. Especially if you're a person who's been raw for so long, but here and there you eat indulgent uh cooked foods, and you'll notice like, damn, I um, I ain't feeling um too good after that. Even if it was an alkaline meal, you feel me? The best food I could recommend you eating that's cooked is steamed. Don't put no oil with it, cause like then that's like really making it complex. Even if you use grapeseed oil, but besides that. Try to find new things to get you high. You feel me? Because you can catch the natural highs. I catch them all the time, especially if I get a good workout in. I um stretch, do my little meditation, and let's say I do another workout, and then I just go hop in the shower and take a cold shower. When I get out, I be feeling like like energized kind of. And um, it's certain mushrooms you could take that's not psychedelic that still give you a psychedelic effect to me. I don't know. If it's just me or if it's just me playing tricks with my mind and making me think that I'm feeling that. But those those coherent things I was showing y'all, like, I low-key get, um, like, an MDMA feeling off of them. Like, a very up feeling. Like, I'm, like, serotonin everywhere. But, uh, yeah, staying off of, um, drug, like, when it comes to smoking, you got a lot of spiritual people who still smoke and... I'm not, you feel me, do what you do, shit, I used to, uh, shit, I used to smoke like a damn Jamaican, smoke like a damn Haitian, I'm talking about every day, all day, every hour I was smoking, and you know, you got some people who only smoked all their life, but I done did pills, shrooms, lean, THC lean, uh, a small piece of tab, I never really got into tab, I ain't never really come across the mind, but damn, MDMA, uh, I did a perk once. Uh, hide your coat on, like all type of shit. You feel me? So I gotta expel all this stuff out my body and get it out of my bone marrow. Like I can't be having all of that stuff in my body still. 
But yeah, I used to do a whole bunch of stuff. I stopped uh, pumping. I'm I'm gonna do a story time on all that to like let y'all know how my health issue led up to my health issue. But yeah, like she should buy it right, bro. Cause once you stop doing drugs, I promise you, you stop smoking, your mind will clear up. You will become more creative. Cause people think smoking make them more creative, make them more mellow, make them more control more controlled and more aware but in reality you're not bro that's just your excuse to be smoking and and dozing in that shit and then you got a lot of people who don't smoke in bonds no more they smoking fucking raw papers and think they're doing something else they think they're going vegan <laughs> or they think, oh i ain't smoking them batwoods i ain't smoking uh uh, uh swissers i ain't smoking a dutchess I ain't smoking good times. Oh, you think you're having a good time because you're smoking on papers? Man, come on, man. That, that don't make no difference, dog. And one thing I know is about smoking. I don't give a fuck. Whoever smoke, your breath stink. Your breath is stink, dog. Like, as soon as you get done smoking, don't try to shoot no gum. Don't try to shoot no gum because it's still stuck. That tobacco still stuck in your gums. As soon as you start, uh, start chewing the gum and that, that taste go away, it's gonna be it's gonna be coming from your throat. You're gonna be like the smell gonna be coming from your throat. And I notice um when you when you do start smoking the first few days, you will be irritated like a motherfucker. Like but it's up to you to learn how to be aware of that's not being that's not the real you. You know what I'm saying? You gotta know like that's just like the little withdrawal effect of marijuana. Cause any every drug got a withdrawal. I don't care what you take, even if it's strong. But yeah, I mean, I got to think on that because even when I stop taking shrooms, I don't necessarily get angry or anything. Like, when I can't get to them, I don't get angry, no sir. Yeah, so when it comes to weed, once you start those first few days, certain things will irritate you, but it's up to you to realize that you're being angry about something that's not even that serious like a person just came to talk to you about something or calls your name why are you mad <laughs> but uh and then a lot of people smoke when they bored every time they get bored they light up every time they get bored they you feel me find something to do you just wasted two hours out of the day smoking and then want to go watch tv made you some food Got full, fell asleep, woke up, still ain't got nothing to do. Rolled up again, repeated the cycle. Or you're a person who can't smoke in the house, so you keep going out to your dog car or your uh, people's car and and smoking. And you keep going to this damn car, smoking. All, I, I'm trying to say because this is I, me and my brothers used to do this, bro. That's all we did the whole day. Joke, played the game, ate food. Go outside, smoke, go walk to the store, get more guards, come back home, polish sell a little bit, smoke some more, steal some of my uh, god brother, mama, uh, liquor, get drunk, keep smoking. By the time it hit night, bro, we about more than a half in, and we've been sipping on the, we got just drunk a whole bottle. So it's like, what was the whole point of that day? We just wasted that whole day doing drugs. Like, literally, I used to live the whole day just to get high. I I ain't met nobody who used to wake up. Uh, What time we used to get off of school? Let's just say it's like 6 in the morning. Something up in there. I used to wake, as soon as I used to wake up, I used to pop a pill. And drink liquor and smoke. And by the time I got to the school bus, I'm loaded. Like, I'm, like, loaded. Like, I'm talking about loaded, bro. You can see it on my face. Um... And no, I'm not like promoting that. I'm not saying do that because that's very. I could have died. I ain't gonna lie. Like I didn't even know you couldn't. Even, at that time, I didn't know you couldn't mix pills with alcohol. I didn't know. I was just doing stuff. You feel me? It's just to get you feel me a good feeling. But y'all don't need that feeling, fam. You'll be surprised how many people got heart attacks off of fucking ecstasy. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised how many people died and they sleep off of Xanax. I don't even remember my first time taking Xanax. I swear to God. I need to clean that shit. I don't remember my first time taking Xanax. I don't remember none of it. I only remember my, like, third, fourth time taking it. And I still can't even remember the whole day of that. I only remember running from... It was one story where I had to run from the police, but... 
I only remember certain stuff being on those, and some of it was recorded when I was like on Snapchat and stuff, but I lost the videos for Snapchat. So Snapchat, y'all get people they snap back, man. Redeem them for these young dog. But um, yeah, like get away from stuff that lowers your vibration, man. Cause smoking does that, dog. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care if you ate fruit all day. You messed it up when you picked up that joint. You should have got shrooms or something. At least do shrooms, you feel me? And, all, and shrooms, you can't do them every day because then you're going to get psyched out. Your mind going not going to be able to tell what's reality. And it happened to me before. Like, it really happened to me before. I had to go ask people, like, hey, did this bop, bop, bop happen or was that a dream? And then when I have dreams, I end up thinking it's real life because I might have a flashback of a dream that I thought I actually did that or that actually happened that day. So I have to go to that person and be like, hey, we went to... um." And then what's the name came out and wait, that ain't happened at all? You feel me? Like, that's really how dangerous taking shrooms every day can get. Like, when you take them every day faithfully. And with me, I don't know why I like being so overwhelmed when it comes to getting high. But me, like, when say I got some real potent shrooms, I'll probably take a 3 5, be high for six, four hours. As soon as the high comes, I take another three five or take probably two grams. But let's say it's a weaker strain and I could take a three five and it feel like I'm on a G of some za or exotic. I don't like saying za, but let's just say that. Let's just say it's weak. I can eat a whole half in a day. I swear to God, like, and I'm not bragging or nothing, but I eat a whole half of a weak strain of shrooms in a day. But if it's some potent ones, I might only eat a quarter or I might only eat a three five. But if you keep doing it every day, every day, your tolerance build up so quick off the shrooms. By the time you hit the fourth day, you is eating halves. You, by the time you hit three weeks, you eating damn near zips in a fucking day. You feel me? And that's not good to be just overdoing them like that because you're messing up your psyche. But moral of the story, know why you want to do something. And then when you do know what you want to do, Implement things to help improve that towards your goal, whether that's writing down your goals, um, telling yourself that you're going to achieve this, saying affirmations when you wake up, saying affirmations through the day, saying affirmations before you go to sleep, uh, working out, diaphragmatic breathing, meditation, and not indulging in drugs, not doing drugs. And I promise you, you're going to see benefits in your life, bro. It might take time. It might take a little minute for you to, you feel me, make something shake. But embrace the struggle and keep striving, dog. Because it's going to look ugly for right now, but you're going to get it right soon. And it ain't nothing wrong with a 9 to 5, you feel me? A lot of people got jobs that they genuinely like. And you got people who got jobs that they don't like. Find something you do like that you can get into. And don't think of it as a career job unless it is a career job. But if you say you get a job for the city or something, some people would say that's a career job. It kind of is because it comes with so many benefits. But let's say you genuinely like doing what you're doing. Okay, keep doing that. But try to find your own way to make a business where you can make your own money without having to work for someone else. You feel me? Being able to have people work for you and work with you. You feel me? So you can make most of the profit, not the company. And you feel me? There's nothing wrong with a nine to five, though. You feel me? Start off with that. Save up your bread and implement it into whatever it is you are trying to do. Everybody different. You got people who want to do in real estate. You got people who want to make content for videos. You feel me? You can always make content for videos. Eventually, you're going to catch a buzz depending on your energy behind your videos and how you edit them, uh, the topics you talk about. What are your videos about? Are they helping people are they helping people know stuff about they learn stuff about themselves or is it helping them open their mind up more is it lowering their vibration you feel me certain things people are attracted to it all depends on how you coming you feel me because there's certain videos i might watch and i'm like your quality trash but what you speaking gold you feel me so it all depends and then you got some people who like me i'll watch a trash video as long as you speak in the right junk that's like grabbing my ori i'm gonna watch you but if it's something that I feel like, you can really do better, fam. I'm not going to sub you and I'm not going to watch you. I'm just being honest. It's like, it's not no point in me following you. You're not dropping nothing that attracted me. I'm not saying you got to stop doing what you're doing, but try to find a way to grab people's attention with certain things. You feel me? It's all type of ways you can do it. There's so many ways you can do it, good and bad. But 
um, yeah, do those things, and I promise you, you're going to see better results in life. So, this video is kind of error. I really don't even know what to title it. But, yeah, implement good things into your life and stay consistent, stay committed, and know that you are going to complete that. And know that you did complete it. Say that you did complete it. Say that you, feel me? You are a millionaire. You're a walking millionaire. But, um, yeah, y'all stay tuned, stay healthy, stay eating, right? All of it, man. The whole nine. Ask y'all ski the E N T. Eat healthy ski.